Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the Expo exclusive Zeta Plus A1 test image colors. Now I got this at the Gunpla Expo and I it's also the kit that I ask my viewers to vote on whether I should build this first or the other one first. Now as you can see this kit is based on the high grade universal sentry Zeta Plus A1 from Unicorn Gundam series. Uh, so it's the exact same kit but with a different color scheme so that's what you should expect now what you get from the kit is well pretty simple you get the kit itself a shield and you get a beam rifle pretty standard for the Zeta Gundams or Zeta Pluses you get two beam sabers basically two beam saber handles and two blue beam sabers and it's the short versions and lastly uh, despite, as you can see, this is a Zeta Gundam uh, variation, so it come, it's it's able to transform. But in high grade, it's a parts forming or part swapping transformation into a Wave Rider. So you get this block as well. So now we've seen the components. Uh, let's get on to the review. Now, as you can see, uh, the original or normal release of the Zeta Plus is a full tone gray, and this kit is a bit white and orange color. Now, you can see this kit comes with uh, interesting stuff. Uh, one example would be the stickers. Now, if you see the stickers, especially on my on the kit right now, you can see the Admiral Ray symbol on it uh, right over here, and some extra numbers so they're basically you get the standard stickers for like the eyes and the wings now you see I, don't, I didn't use the wing stickers and uh, basically I didn't use any of the orange stickers I'll explain that later and the other you get these transparent stickers for the like other stuff I have actually used now since uh, the Zeta Plus A1 test image colors or this color was basically used by Amuro Ray himself so I, I decided to put the armor array symbol on the shoulder and the 426 as you can imply from my nickname on YouTube uh, I put that there as, as my signature number uh, basically uh, in the anime this was never shown this is like a side story thing or like a Zeta, Zeta project file thing uh, basically armor array was using this to test the Zeta Plus A1 and also to train uh, pilots for the Zeta Plus A1 as well. Now, uh, here's a here's the part where I actually didn't use the orange stickers. Number one, uh, the first thing is first. If you see the head, I'll try to zoom in. You see these sections on the head where it, it they're orange or technically they're a bit red because I used a red Gundam marker, the standard red Gundam marker over here. And uh, it doesn't, when you see it in the camera, it doesn't really look that different. But if you uh, look at it in real life, it could be, but not too serious. So I colored the side parts over here and here because stickers, they are going to fall off eventually. And I don't want that to happen because my, my Master Grade Zeta Plus A1, who, who's actually seen those, you might notice that some stickers are starting to fall off. Um, this part, um, the wings, not the middle section, but the wings on the side. Uh, basically these sections were also supposed to be stickers I colored them as well as the Gundam marker uh, on video they don't really look that different a little bit more strongish red or orange color but it's not that bad and it doesn't really look that terrible so that's it uh, so that's the only parts that actually colored uh, the rest I used another Amore symbol sticker here Caraba Air Force and Anaheim Electronics for each wing and of course I was kind of stupid and and didn't really calculate this because when you transform this uh, <laughs> this part the outer part is supposed to go down I was hoping it to show it up but I miscalculated the location of the stickers so I messed up so let's get on to articulations the head and I think this is like while building this kit I actually almost mistaken this for a master grade because the way how you build it it's pretty similar as a master grade so the only difference is that you can open the cockpit and it won't transform on its own that's the only difference but yeah uh, most of it felt like as if I was building a master grade now the head the interesting fact okay that blue section there is a sticker I don't mind that uh, the red sections over there uh, those are colored as I mentioned 
the eyes. Now the eyes were kind of frustrating because um, the stickers, each eye comes in individually. Instead of usually when you buy a, a Gundam uh, high grade, the eye is on one piece. This one is two pieces, so you have to stick each eye individually, which wasn't that easy. And similar to the Master Grade, it has some limitations on moving, so uh, I'll try to show this as best as I can. It will go down and up, no problem, but turning, it's not really an option. Because of the chin and the structure of the neck and the body, uh, it can't go 360 because there's a piece blocking it as well. And I almost forgot, this yellow section here on the neck is also a sticker. Uh, it was kind of difficult because I messed up at the process. Uh, so that's it for the head articulations. There's not much movement you can actually pull off with this. Uh, for the body, yeah, 360 is not an option. Uh, I I assume if without the wings, I assume without the wings and these side cannons, you can go 360. But with those on, not much of an option. Uh, also, the shield. Uh, this green section on the shield, that's also a sticker. I don't have much Gundam markers, I only have technically two, so... Uh, I am planning to get a little bit more color variations. Uh, now for the arms, uh, let's see. It's pretty standard, uh, I guess this is also what you call a double joint, I think? No, it's not double joint, sorry, my bad. Uh, it's not double jointed, it's only, it only, only goes uh, 90 degrees, and it well spinning actually you can go 360 if you know how to control it <laughs> and also the this part can move which kind of makes me once want to question I'll get into that this part uh, when transforming because this makes me really confused uh, the shield is pretty standard I'll take it off for the review now the shield uh, it's pretty a standard shield for the Zeta Gundam variations nothing too special there's nothing that moves so yeah these wings are also individual pieces and the shield this is the peg so it, the peg goes onto the arm below here and I believe each arm also has that peg so it's your choice on what it, which arm to put it on and also uh, yeah not, not much now I mentioned that the body can't go 360 because of the design and stuff uh, for me also uh, the front skirt or not exactly front skirt but this piece tends to fall off a little bit easy uh, you need that for the transformation so I don't mind that too much but sometimes when I it, it, it will pop off, pop off if I don't touch it correctly uh, before we get into the legs let's get on to the side skirts slash beam cannons for the weapons uh, okay the thing is the master grade version originally you were able to store the beam saber handles in here but they didn't do that in the high grade which it's a bit of shame but I guess uh, there are some limitations I mean I would have liked to seen something like that because uh, usually the beam sabers are the ones that are like leftover pieces and I don't like that so I, I do like kids that have actually place to store their all of their weapons so to, it's a bit of a shame that they didn't do a you know a storage system for the beam sabers yeah the beam cannons all you need to do is just flip them or turn them 90 degrees and they're good to go now the these is, itself is not a problem but when in this mode uh, and then when you tight, tighten those up and in, inside uh, the thing is the leg kind of has some limitations on moving because uh, not because also the back skirt it kind of collides with the cannon so when you're trying to pose this there will be some limitations so you won't be able to do much uh, leg uh, erratic pose or like extreme poses because the leg the side skirt armor tends to like or beam cannon tends to collide with the back skirt and it gets uh, clinged or clinged to a lot of places, so that's one thing to notice. Uh, for the legs, uh, let's see if I can do this. Okay, I think. Okay, there's. Okay, technically it can go 90, but because of this, you have some problems. So, let's say if you, you know, fold this this in fully and then try to bend. 
yeah, I think this is the maximum you can go. I kind of, I'm kind of forcing it. Let's hope nothing happens. Bending it again. It's a double jointed since it, it is a transforming suit. So that's as much as you can go. But one thing that really amazed me or impresses me is not like the articulation. Well, of course it is, but the feet. Now, usually, now if you see my reviews, I have done a review on the. HGUC Delta Gundam and Delta Plus and when those when you need to transform them you actually need to separate the feet and then reattach some extra parts as well but this one doesn't require that all you need to do is just fold it up like that and you're good to go it, which is really surprising at the same time you just need to do that I believe the other one, the Delta Plus and Delta Gundam, they weren't able to do this pose, so they you, you needed some extra parts. But this one is capable of doing, which I am really happy to see, because those, you know, taking off the feed and reattaching them is really annoying. So we've seen most of the parts, the articulations, the weapons. Oh, I almost forgot. For the beam rifle, it's just a simple standard beam rifle. Snap two pieces together and the barrel, and you're good to go. Um, the ammo clip is not detachable. Uh, the, they give you an extra tr trigger hand, uh, so you can actually use the beam rifle. So in order to take this off, you need to, uh, you know, disconnect everything. So uh, holding the beam rifle is no problem because inside the hand there's also another peg, and on the handle there's another hole. So holding the beam rifle is no problem at all. It won't fall off. It has no problems holding it. Now, uh, since this is a transforming mobile suit, I will be back in a second and show you guys the transform, uh, the transform, the wave rider mode of this kit. Uh, since it's gonna take a long time for me to actually show you each process, and I've done that before on my Delta Gundam, so if you, it's basically the same method. So if you're kind of interested, you can go for it as well. Uh, before that, one last thing: the beam sabers. They're just pretty standard. All you need to do is slide them in and you're good to go so I'll be right back in a second okay I'm back with the transformation uh, this is the complete form of the Zeta Plus A1 uh, the remaining pieces are basically the body which is really painful for me to see but at this moment I really like how I displayed the Wave Rider with the Hakushiki uh, the action base, this this does not come with the kit. I don't. I, I was just cleaning up my room and actually found an extra action base like this. So I have no idea where I got this from, and it is working pretty well. So I might really d display the kit like this, uh, but this is really painful for me to see. So I don't know. Maybe I should have gotten two of these. Now here's the thing about the shoulders. Now. Uh, basically, they require you to take off the arm and then just clip it onto the main body, which is okay, I understand that. But if the shoulder is capable of doing this, uh, which is like that at the moment, the only difference is that it's the shoulder's right here, at this, at, like this. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And then... Uh, so this is where the the shoulder is, and you can see that it's in this shape. The only difference is that this is this gray piece isn't here, and of course th there's no section for this part as well. So I don't know if I think if Bandai uses a little bit more imagination, uh, they might be now able to create a uh, you know not require or need to put any more extra shoulder armor for the transformation I don't know I just felt like if this is possible if I mean it's the, if the shoulder piece is if if it's capable of doing this I feel like there could be more potential uh, the beam rifle it's pretty simple the, the way how I attach it you can only either attach it on the wings the master grade version I believe no actually no scratch that there's three places you can attach the the bottom of the wings. The way how you attach it is there's a handle, you fold it in, there's another peg shows up. So you can either put it on here or here. But the thing is, funny thing is, in the instruction manual, I don't think they really mentioned this. Uh, but like the Master Grade, you are capable of putting the beam rifle on the middle. I think there is a hole for that. 
Yes, there it is. Uh, let me sh see if I can actually show you guys the hole. Yes, uh, there's a hole right over here. And so you are technically able to put it in, but I think just Bandai just forgot. Because in the games, this is how the Zeta Plus uh, is, are usually like shown. Oops. But as you... as it, uh, Let me do that again. Sorry, uh, I misplaced my hand. Now in the games, it's like usually on top, but I can see that because of the angle of the thing, uh, this is not the best idea, so because of the way I was pointing. So you can technically attach it, but there's some angle issues, so I'm just going to attach it on the wings. So yeah, uh, this kit it has a really nice transformation. I would recommend it to anybody to display it like this as well, if you're not like really painful to look at, um, you know, just the body floating around. To be honest, I think I was thinking of giving my Hyakushiki a separate action base to put it on my action base circle. But the way how this is, it, this is, I think I like it how it is. So I, I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this for a while. And if I, if I find it a little bit too iffy or disturbing, I will return it back to its mobile suit mode. So yeah. So this was the review of the Expo exclusive Zeta Plus A1 test image colors. Uh, it's a great kit. If you can find one, definitely go for it. But if you can't, the normal release of the Zeta Plus A1 is good enough. So, uh, and you won't have the, you don't need to color anything since it's all gray. There's no need for stickers as well. So if you can find one, go for it. If not, don't be too, uh, too disappointed. The normal one is also good enough. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. Hope this video was interesting or informative. To those who are trying to get this or who hasn't opened their boxes yet uh, if you have any questions or requests leave a comment below uh, i still have a lot of gun plot to make and buy so stay tuned until then see you guys next time